The film begins, and we see a girl who is roaming on the seashore. She sees a suitcase there, and as soon as she opens it, she is puked by its smell because inside it, someone's cut hand comes out of it. Now, the story goes back 10 years, and we will learn here whose hand it was and what happened to it, and why did it happen. Later, we see a girl named Melanie, who worked as a waitress in a hotel, and was also studying nursing. One day a man comes to her who was working as a waiter with her, his name is Bill and he asks her to go out for dinner with him. Now, Melanie also knew that he already has a friend, but she still gets ready to go with him. They spend a lot of time in the casino, and they play games. Meanwhile, Bill begins to understand Melanie very well for him. Because he was earning a lot of money in the games, and he felt that she was very lucky to him. However, Melanie also started to love Bill. When she tells her friend about this, she says that Bill is not good at all. He is already married and he is just like that he puts everyone in his words, but Melanie was not ready to understand anything. She says that I will change him, he will change with my love. Likewise, time passed quickly, and Bill and Melanie both live in the same house. One day, one day, a woman comes to Melanie who is no one else but Bill's wife. She says my husband is not a good person. He traps every girl in his love and cheats with them, but Melanie was not ready to listen to her. Later, Bill also comes there, and they both ask that woman to go from there, because after a few days they were going to get married. Similarly, five years pass in this way and they both had two children. Melanie was a nurse in a very good hospital. And Bill was a teacher at the university, their lives were going very well, but Melanie had to change her house, which could have happened when both had money. Because Bill had not given up his routine yet. He still went to the casino and played games, and he still made a girl his friend. Melanie soon finds out that he is cheating on her and she also gets a girl's number from him, on which his name was also written. The next day, when she goes to the hospital a girl of that name came to her for a checkup, and she asks him in the middle of the conversation. As a result of this, she finds out that she is from Bill's university. After listening to all this, she went crazy, that after spending so much time together, Bill was still cheating on her. Later, she also follows Bill at night and sees him with that girl, but she still does not say anything to Bill because she was quiet because of her children and she did not want to leave Bill because of her children. For this reason, she knew that all these things would affect her children, and she was tired of her husband lying again and again. Also, she waits for him daily at late night. Now she decides that if Bill can cheat on her then why can't she, and she befriends the doctor in the hospital. She wants to get mental peace because she was very upset because of Bill, but Bill did not know anything about this. He had gone so crazy because of casino games, that he used to borrow money from the thieves and go to play with the hope that he will win all the money one day, but it never happened. He had so much debt on him that he did not even deposit the fees of his children. He used to consume the money in the casino. Also, he was missing for weeks, and when Melanie called him, he did not even pick up her phone. Their relationship was going to break but she did not want a divorce bill. Because this happened to her even in childhood. After her dad's death, her mom got married again. But she could not get the same love as she got from her own dad. She did not want to let this happen to her children. Likewise, now four years pass and they were going to get their second home, but how could this happen because they needed money for that? And Bill had no money as he was busy with his life of fun. One day, Melanie reads a message from the girl, who was Bill's friend who was with him at his university. She was calling him to her house when she followed him. Bill was about to take the girl but she parked the car on the other side of the parking area. Because Melanie had the other key to the car. Now, when Bill comes home, he gets very angry. Because he knew that Melanie had done this. And he screams at her and he was about to kill her but he does not do that. Melanie was very tired of his behavior. One day, at the hospital where she worked. She steals the doctor's papers from there that has his signatures, and she starts copying them. Now, why was this happening, and what was going on in her mind, no one knew. One night she dressed nicely in the happiness of her new home. And she spends a very good time with Bill, with the hope that her life is going to change but nothing happens in this way. Later, the story is shown from where it started. The suitcase that the girl got, when she calls the police. Then it is found here that even before this, police had found two such suitcases that had only one person's body parts. Now, in the last suitcase when Bill's head is found, then the police find out that it was Bill's corpse, yes. Bill's corpse was in that suitcase, he was in the meantime, the police go to Melanie who was living at her parents' house. When she finds out that Bill is dead, and someone killed him in such a bad way, she goes crazy. Now, when the police investigate this case. After this, some different things come to light, 
that what had happened in their life some time ago. Later, Melanie tells the police saying we were going to buy a new house, and Bill was not happy at all, we had a fight. He also raised his hand at me. Later, he packed his things and left the house. She says that I felt like I would have gone to his friend as always. I didn't want to live with that man. That's why I decided to separate from him and after telling all this to the police. Melanie comes to the doctor, in the hospital she tells the doctor, that I don't want to live with Bill anymore because he is not a good man. The doctor was surprised at her words because a few days ago. She told him that I don't want to spoil my children's childhood. On the other hand, the police also start investigating this case. Then the police find out that whatever Melanie was telling, she did all this after Bill's disappearance when the police searched their house. They find another suitcase, and after asking she says that, we have more such suitcases but when Bill left the house. He took the clothes in the same suitcase. Now, the police also find out, that a few days ago Melanie had also bought a gun, but the police don't get the gun from her house. Meanwhile, after interrogation, the bullets in the gun, the same bullets were found in Bill's body which means he was killed with this gun. On this Melanie says that while leaving he took all his things with him, and maybe he took this gun too and someone killed him with his gun. When the police check the house still, they don't get any sign from the house, but they also found out that two days before Bill's disappearance. Melanie had bought that gun, on which she says that Bill had asked me to buy this gun, when the police find Bill's missing car, in which there were blood marks. Melanie tells the police that maybe some thief killed Bill. He used to borrow money but the police don't think so, and they say that why would someone kill someone so mercilessly for money? Then. The dead body has also been tried to hide, this is the work of a person who used to hate Bill very much, and he had a lot of anger in his heart. Bill's sister also felt the same that Melanie was the one who hated him the most also, she tells the police everything that was going on between Melanie and Bill. Then the police's suspicion becomes more solid but they still didn't have any proof. After this, they start keeping an eye on Melanie, finally, after two months, the police slowly began to find out everything. They find out that before Bill's death. Melanie had ordered medicine but they also find out from the investigation. That she had fake signatures of the doctor. Because it was such a dangerous medicine, that no one used to give it to her without the doctor's signature. After collecting all the evidence, the police make up a story that what had happened that night. Meanwhile, we find out that night there was no fight between them. She mixed that medicine in Bill's alcohol which made him unconscious, and in the morning after sending her children to school. In her own house. She murdered him and took him to the bathroom. She then cuts his dead body into pieces and filled it in the suitcase. So that it would be easier to pick up and take the dead body. After this, she took the dead body in the car and threw it into the sea. And after leaving the car she came back home. Later, she cleaned her whole house but she forgot about her shoes. Because of which the police also got evidence against her, because of the blood marks on her shoes, they got the same marks from Bill's car. Now, Melanie was caught after which her children are also snatched from her. Everyone was against her except her mom and dad who get her bail and released her. But the police still couldn't prove that Melanie killed Bill. They didn't have any solid evidence. They also record her and the doctor's calls but they don't get anything from them. Melanie played this game very cleverly but the police were also not going to give up. They run this case again after two months. This time they had solid evidence, and Melanie was now sentenced to life imprisonment. But still Melanie does not move a little bit from her statement. She still says I did not do anything. Even if the whole world called her a suitcase killer. This story was Melanie's true story, sometimes we are very good, but people force us to become bad like Bill made Melanie so bad that she became a killer, and with this movie ends here.